Hello, I'm Julie Ritchie from Deaf Blind Scotland. Let me take you on a journey through the dreams and hopes of deaf blind people. Here we find four deaf blind individuals deep in discussion about their dreams. I just wish that people would realise that even though we're deaf blind, we still have dreams. I completely agree. Oh, definitely, we have as much right to have dreams the same as everyone else. Aye. Typing away on his Braille note touch, Andrew Pettigrew is a young man with many dreams. He now shares one with us. If I could change one thing, I would change education. Deaf blind people just aren't getting enough support on any level and that both affects their education and employment opportunities as well as making them feel lonely and isolated. I'm studying English Literature staff Clyde University, but if it wasn't for an excellent disability service, I would have dropped out by now, as so many disabled students are forced to. So, that's my dream. Make education fully accessible for everyone. We shouldn't have to fight just for what everybody else takes for granted. With a communicator guide beside her, Leanne Balch tells us about her dreams. For me, my dream is to be an actress. I wanted to walk on the stage and be whoever I choose. My disability will not stop me. Never. It's a society attitude. People just don't know I can do it because I can't see, because of my hearing. If you give me a chance, I can show you. For Alison Dunbar, Dreams are about exploring the world and discovering a whole new life. Here she comes now, climbing a hill in another country. I dream of travelling to Spain, Japan, Australia, everywhere, all across the globe. But it's impossible. People just don't think I can. How can I travel the world when shopping is quite a challenge? For Ian Bell, reading in his armchair, dreams don't always have to be as amazing as being an actress or travelling the world. I dream about the simple things in life, being simple for us to being on the bus and knowing I get assistance if required. Shopping without any fear or anxiety, and even meeting a friend is a dream. I can relate to that. Me too. I'm me. So, that's our dreams. For any of them to be possible, we need your help. We need society to change. For our people to reach out for each other, to communicate, and not let our disability stand in our way. And when we achieve that dream, we don't want to wake up from it. Yeah, it's hard enough getting me out of my bed in the morning. No way am I waking up from that dream. <laughs> Join us in making the dreams of deafblind people come true today.